Hey guys, Zach here, coming at you with another video. So today is a Harry Potter pickups video. So I know these are relatively rare, but I think I have enough stuff to warrant a pickup video. So let's start here with something, um, a gift package from my Nana over in England. As you guys know, I, um, I frequently go to England because I have family over there and stuff, and I am missing something. Hold on a second, where is it? Okay, so the note I got from my Nana was like, saw these in Waterstones Bookshop, and I thought of you, love my Nana. So, yeah, that's my Nana. Um, I got a Harry Potter poster card coloring book. They're basically like postcards that you color in, and they're pretty cool. I actually really like this. I'm going to actually use some of these someday. Next up, I have Quidditch Through the Ages, the book. I already have this, but I didn't have this, like, version of it, so I thought that was pretty cool to get. And lastly, I got this cool little Hufflepuff pin. While I'm not a Hufflepuff, I actually do like the pin, so, yeah. All right, next up here, um, I got this off of Craigslist, um, a while ago, but someone had this for 20 bucks, and I was like, I cannot pass it up. It is a tin... Uh, have you seen this Wizard series black thing? It's like aluminum tin something. Makes that noise. Um, but yeah, I, th I thought it was really, really cool. And for 20 bucks, I just couldn't pass it up. And I think you've probably seen this on my wall in a few videos. So now I can actually formally show it to you guys. Next up here, I went to Target um, just like a couple days ago. And I got this because it's a Target exclusive item. And I thought it's really, really cute. It's a pop vinyl figure of the Niffler. From Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. I know it's not exactly Harry Potter, but it fits. It works. Um, so, yeah, I got the Niffler pop, the, the Target exclusive one with the purse. I like it more than the one that has just the coins. I think this one's a lot cuter, a lot, you know, more... I don't know. There's just something I like about it a little bit more. So, we're gonna... I'm gonna show two items that no man would really show in a Harry Potter pickup video, or any kind of pickup video for that matter. But they're Harry Potter related, so I mean, I kind of have to show them. So also at Target, um, I got underwear. I got Harry Potter boxer shorts. Um, I just like that they were like silky and nice. Um, and I picked them up. I, I, I don't know why I'm showing you guys this, but it's related. It fits. So I mean, there you go. There's my Harry Potter underwear. And also here I have a picture frame. My mom got this for me because it's Harry Potter related. It's girly as fuck, but it's Harry Potter related, so I thought I would show that off to you guys. Okay, so we got two more things, and they're both packages. One is something I ordered on Amazon for Black Friday. And then the other one, um, you guys may have heard, there's a Loot Crate thing um, based off of The Wizarding World of Harry Potter. So, um, I'm going to open this box first and, uh, show you guys what I got. Okay, let me just aim this down a little bit so you can see me unbox it. And, of course, me being the scholarly student I am, I don't have scissors here. So, this is just going to be brute force, which shockingly worked. Hopefully you guys don't see my address. Do you see it? No, you don't see it. All right. So, in the end of the day, I got all I got these items for 35 bucks. And as you can see, they are more pop vinyl figures. So, let's get started here. First one we have is the Tri Wizard Tournament Harry Potter, sorry for the glare. It's the Harry Potter and the Triwizard uniform. I really liked it, so I ordered it. It was really cheap. It was like six bucks. I got this one, which is a Dementor. He's facing sideways, so it's a, it's a little bit weird how that package came out. It's facing sideways. Never seen that before. It's, you know, facing sideways, but you get the picture. 
Um, got Dolores Umbridge. And then lastly, I got Mad Eye Moody. If you want me to do unboxings of these, let me know and I'll show you the figures more up close. All right, so now on to the main event for me, the Loot Crate. Um, it's not particularly Loot Crate, it's the Wizarding World Crate. Um, and on the bottom, it's even cool. It says Muggle Worthy right here. I can't show you because of the glare, but oh, you saw, I think, yeah. So anyways, let me open this up. I think it's open it this way, yeah. How is this Muggle Worthy? I gotta, I don't have scissors though. And I mostly want you guys to see my face so you can see the reaction, because that's the main purpose that a lot of people do these videos, is to, to see people's reactions and stuff. So I guess just gotta rip this Muggle-worthy sticker off, which I really like the design. So it's unfortunate that I have to rip it off. Alright. Let's scoot back here. Let me show you guys first. All right, so let's see what's inside. Let's go back a little bit. All right, well, you didn't really see much. Oh, oh, I already, all right. Well, first of all, first of all, the t-shirt, the New York Ghost, which is a report on the, um, the uh, Oculins, or I think that's what it's called, from the movie. Spoiler alert, I guess. Oh man, that kind of sucks. I got another Niffler Pop, but this one is the regular one. The regular one with the coins. So, I mean, at least it's different. At least it's a different variant. But that's still really cool. Alright, now we have an Owl plushie. Oh, it's Pigwidgeon. It's Pigwidgeon. That's pretty cool, Pigwidgeon plush. Um, what's this? What are these? Okay, so these are Loot Crate exclusive. They're like charms. There's a little tassel. I'm not sure what the tassel is, really. But there's an owl and a Hogwarts letter. But it's like a keychain slash charm-like thing. That's pretty awesome. And it's a Loot Crate exclusive, right? Yeah, it's a Loot Crate, Loot Crate exclusive. All right. Let's see what else is in here. We have, ooh, a bow, a bow truckle pin badge thingy. I really like the bow truckle in Fantastic Beasts and where to find them, so I'm actually really glad to have that. Let's see here. I'll look in this box later. But there is a notebook. It's a Makuza notebook. Let me just open that up. Show you guys. Oh, this is really cool. There's a little bit of... I don't know if it's damage or... I don't know, but it's a Makuza notebook. A little bit on top there, if you can see that. I know you can't. The glare's too bad. But yeah, it's a little notebook. Oh, it has like golden... That is awesome. I like this notebook. And this is like a little bookmark thing, I'm guessing? To keep track of your pages? I don't know, but I really, really like it. And then, oh wait, where's the box? There it is. And lastly, there's something in here. Oh, it's a poster? Oh no, it's like a little welcome thingy. Probably gonna tell me everything that's in the box, even though I know everything that's in the box. All right, come on now. Give me a second here. All right. All right. So this month, this month's magical loot. Uh, there's the T-shirt, Pigwidgeon plush. Um. There's the fop, pop, the fop, the pop figure assortment. Unfortunately, I got the one that I did have. You can either get Newt, Tina Goldstein, the Niffler, Elvis Dumbledore, or Jacob Kowalski. Like I said, I got the Niffler. 
Um, there's the Bojoko pin, Hedwig letter keychain, and the Makuza notebook. So that is all the Harry Potter stuff I've gotten. Holy cow. Um, I think I'm, trying, I'm gonna try and say what my favorite thing from the loot crate was. It was probably the notebook, um, though I really did like the Pigwidgeon plush. Um, yeah, probably either one of these two. I did really like the shirt, though. The shirt was really good. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed. Now, um, now I have two, I have two Nifflers. Um, I don't know, I, I mean, I, I guess I'll keep both of them, because I am going to start collecting the, uh, the pops. I'm going to move the camera up. Um, I'm going to start collecting the pops now, and I guess it's good to have both of them. I mean, I was going to get both of them eventually, but, uh, yeah. So I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching this Harry Potter pickup video. It was pretty epic, I think. I had a lot of stuff that I got to show you guys. And yeah, until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.